Zoho Analytics provides a whole range of chart customization options. In this module, let us learn how to customize and format your chart to make it more visually appealing. Open the corresponding chart, then click the Settings option in the toolbar. The General tab will now be displayed. The General tab provides options to customize the chart title, description, and data display. Let us enter a title and description. You can set how the missing and unknown data has to be handled. The Display Unknown Values option lets you specify the display label to be shown if the data contains null or empty values. I'll enter nil. The Show Missing Values lets you plot the chart with the data points which does not have any corresponding value in the underlying data. Deselecting this will skip these points in the axis. Zoho Analytics will automatically set values for chart axes properties such as x-axis and y-axis labels, axis range, interval between labels, etc. while creating a chart. To customize the axis settings, the label option lets you specify the name of the x-axis and y-axis. You can also choose the font in which you want the names to be displayed. The tick marks option can be used to set the orientation of x-axis tick labels. I will choose slanting. Zoho Analytics will automatically calculate the y-axis range based on the maximum and minimum values of the data in the y-axis column. Select the show corresponding y-axis value as data label on the chart to display the values as labels on the chart. The range lets you set custom range by selecting the range checkbox and then entering the maximum and minimum values in the corresponding fields. Zoho Analytics will automatically determine the interval between axis labels based on the axis label length and the size of the chart. If required, you can set a custom interval by selecting the interval checkbox and then enter the interval value in the corresponding field. Let us choose ticks and enter 5 so that our chart looks spacious. The next tab is the borders and colors tab. When a chart is created, Zoho Analytics will set the default background and border for the new chart. However, you can customize these settings to enhance the look and feel of the chart. The border style option and the grid line style option lets you customize the chart border and grid line style. You can also set the line colors. The background color option is used to set the chart background color. I'll set white as my chart background color. Moving on, the next tab is the format settings tab. Zoho Analytics allows you to format all of the columns used in the report creation individually. Let us now format the chart that we have already created. The Format tab will list all of the columns used in this chart along with the tooltip labels and their format. You can rename any of the tooltip labels, and you can also click on the Format option to customize it. For example, let's format the Sales column. The Sales column contains currency values. I'm going to change my sales currency values to the K notation. This will help me to easily understand the amount. Let's see how to do this. Under the Format tab, we will now format the Sales column in the Y axis. The Units option lets you change the unit to thousand, million, billion, etc. Let us choose thousand here. The Decimal Places option lets you change the number of decimal places to be displayed. Let us select this as zero. The Negative Number Display lets you pick how any negative values has to be displayed. I'm going to choose with the Negative Sign option here. You can also choose your thousand and decimal separators like we have already learned. The next tab is the Legend tab. Before we see the legend customization options, let us understand what a legend is. The legend and chart provides a quick overview of the different data series involved in the chart, along with the color associated with each series. A legend serves as a quick guide in interpreting the visualization provided by the chart. The legend consists of the legend title and the legend items. Each legend item consists of a colored box that indicates the data series and the name of the data series. To customize the legends, click on the legend tab. The legend position opens and lets you set up a position for the legends. You can choose to retain or hide the title using the legend title option. Let us select bottom center as the legend position and rename the legend. You can also customize the legend colors. The palette type option lets you choose between three options. I'm going to choose solid. A set of color palettes will accordingly appear under the select color palette option. I'm going to choose the business palette. A set of default colors from the business palette will be applied automatically. You can easily change the color by clicking on them and choosing your favorite color. Zoho Analytics provides you with an option to draw threshold lines in a chart to highlight specific targets for easy reference and to do quick comparative study. Threshold lines can be added horizontally or vertically at a fixed value on the X or Y axis of a chart. The threshold lines can also be based on dynamic values. You can add two types of threshold lines, static and dynamic threshold lines. The static threshold function allows you to set a constant value as the threshold line. The dynamic threshold feature allows you to apply dynamic functions such as sum, average, minimum, and maximum over the columns in your reference axis or over a different column. 
Let us now set a threshold for the sales report that we created. We will set a static threshold line to represent the yearly sale target. Set the scope of the threshold. The entire table option sets the same threshold for the entire table, while the per cell option lets you apply a threshold for a single cell. I will set it to the entire table. Select the reference axis from the reference axis dropdown. Let us now select constant from the value dropdown and enter a threshold value. We will name our threshold line as sales target. Let us set the line type and the color from the formatting dropdown. You can click on the preview option to get a glimpse of how your report will look with the threshold line now on it. A drill down path is a sequential list of columns that make up a path. The drill down tab allows you to set a drill down path for your chart axis. This path is specific to the chart where you are defining it. Our chart contains date column and region column. For date columns, Zoho Analytics will automatically set a default path. I will choose to retain the default path. Let us set customer name as the next drill down path for region. With this settings, when a user clicks on a region in the chart, it will drill down to show the sales by customers in this region. Clicking on Apply will set the customization options that we have chosen so far. You can click on the chart and click on Drill Down to explore your data. Clicking on the All will remove the drill down settings. Kudos! We now know how to customize charts and make them look attractive using various customization options available in Zoho Analytics.